The Florida sun beat down on the manicured lawns of Trump National Golf Club, casting long shadows over the pristine greens. It was a seemingly ordinary day, with golfers enjoying their game, the sound of laughter and friendly banter filling the air. But the calm was abruptly shattered by the piercing sirens of approaching law enforcement vehicles, their flashing lights cutting through the serene atmosphere. Former President Donald J. Trump, enjoying a round on his beloved course, suddenly found himself at the center of a terrifying ordeal. An assassination attempt had been made on his life, turning a peaceful day into a nightmare. The tranquility of the green was replaced with the chaos of a crime scene as law enforcement swarmed the area, securing the perimeter and searching for clues. The air was thick with tension, the once relaxed faces of golfers now etched with worry and fear. A suspect, Ryan W. Routh, was apprehended swiftly by the authorities, his capture bringing a slight sense of relief to the onlookers. His motives, however, remained a chilling mystery, leaving everyone to wonder what could drive someone to such an act. The nation watched in disbelief as news of the incident spread like wildfire, dominating headlines and sparking conversations across the country. It served as a stark reminder of the fragility of peace and the ever-present threat of violence in the political sphere, a sobering reality in these turbulent times. The name Ryan W. Routh echoed across newsrooms and social media, sending shockwaves through the nation a name now forever linked to the attempted assassination of a former president, a crime that stunned the world. As investigators delved into Routh's past, a complex picture began to emerge, revealing layers of his life previously hidden from public view. A mosaic of criminal history and potential ties to extremist ideologies started to form, raising more questions than answers. Court records revealed a pattern of violence, a troubling history that included multiple run-ins with the law. Charges of assault and weapons offenses painted a disturbing portrait of a man with a dangerous past. The FBI, leading the investigation, meticulously pursued every lead, leaving no stone unturned in their quest for the truth. Determined to unravel the web of Ruth's motivations and potential accomplices, they worked tirelessly around the clock. Was he a lone wolf driven by personal rage, acting out of a deep-seated grudge, or a pawn in a larger, more sinister plot orchestrated by shadowy figures? The answers to these questions were crucial to understanding the attack and preventing future threats. Yet they remained elusive, shrouded in the ongoing investigation, leaving the nation on edge as the search for truth continued. In the aftermath of the assassination attempt, the world held its breath, waiting for Donald Trump's response. Would he retreat from the public eye, seeking safety and solace? The answer, delivered with characteristic defiance, resonated across the nation. Trump, refusing to be cowed by fear, announced his return to the campaign trail. Addressing a rally just days after the incident, he projected an image of strength and resolve, even making light of the attempt on his life. This move, met with a mixture of admiration and apprehension, underscored Trump's unwavering commitment to his political aspirations and his determination to not let fear dictate his actions. The incident at Trump National Golf Club exposed a chilling reality, the vulnerability of former presidents. While security measures for sitting presidents are undeniably robust, the protection afforded to their predecessors came under intense scrutiny. Lawmakers, security experts, and the public alike grappled with a disturbing question. Were current protocols sufficient to ensure the safety of those who had once held the highest office in the land? The consensus was a resounding no, calls for a comprehensive review of security measures, for increased funding, and for a level of protection commensurate with the ongoing risks faced by former presidents echoed throughout the halls of Congress and beyond. Section 5. A Nation Condemns. The Unacceptable Face of Political Discord. In the wake of the attempted assassination, a wave of condemnation washed over the nation, transcending political divides. From both sides of the aisle, Democrats and Republicans alike denounced the act of violence, reaffirming the fundamental principle that violence has no place in a democratic society. The incident served as a stark reminder of the fragility of civil discourse and the dangers of unchecked political animosity. It was a wake-up call, a stark illustration of how easily words can incite violence, how quickly hate can escalate to life-threatening actions. Section 6. A Call for Unity, President Biden's Plea for Civility 
President Joe Biden, despite the deep political chasm that separated him from his predecessor, responded to the incident with a message of concern and a call for national unity. In a televised address, he expressed relief that Trump was unharmed and condemned the act of violence in the strongest possible terms. We may be political opponents, Biden asserted, but we are Americans first. Violence has no place in our democracy. His words, measured and resolute, served as a much-needed balm on a nation on edge, a call for unity and a return to civility in the face of adversity. Section 7. Fueling the Fire. The Incident and Political Polarization. The attempted assassination of Donald Trump, tragically, became another flashpoint in an already volatile political landscape. Trump and his supporters wasted no time in attributing the attack to the vitriolic rhetoric of their political opponents. They argued that the constant demonization of Trump and his policies had created a climate of hatred and intolerance, making such an attack almost inevitable. This narrative, while disputed by many, resonated with Trump's base, further deepening the existing political divisions and fueling the flames of polarization. The incident served as a stark reminder of the fragility of American democracy and the urgent need to bridge the chasm of political polarization. E Section 8. Seeking Answers. The Investigation into Security Failures. As the nation grappled with the implications of the assassination attempt, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis ordered an independent investigation into the security breach at Trump National Golf Club. This investigation, aimed at uncovering any lapses in security protocols and holding responsible parties accountable, became a top priority. Every aspect of security, from the initial screening process to the response of on-site personnel, was scrutinized. The findings of the investigation, it was hoped, would provide valuable lessons for the future, informing improvements in security measures not only for former presidents, but for all high-profile individuals facing potential threats. Section 9. Safeguarding Democracy, the Price of Free Speech The attempted assassination of Donald Trump reignited a long-standing debate, how to balance the fundamental right to free speech with the need to prevent incitement of violence. The line between passionate political discourse and dangerous rhetoric is often blurry, and the consequences of crossing that line can be devastating. The incident served as a stark reminder that words have power and that inflammatory language can have real-world consequences. It sparked a national conversation about the responsibility that comes with free speech and the need for leaders and citizens alike to engage in civil discourse, even when disagreements run deep. Section 10. The Fragility of Peace. A stark reminder and a call for calm. The events at Trump National Golf Club, etched into the nation's collective memory, served as a stark reminder of the fragility of peace and the ever-present threat of violence in a world often driven by extremism and division. The incident transcended politics, becoming a moment for reflection and a call for calm. It underscored the importance of vigilance, the need for unity, and the imperative to protect the very fabric of American democracy. In the aftermath of the attack, a shared sense of vulnerability emerged, a recognition that violence can strike anywhere, at any time, shattering the illusion of safety and security. Section 11. Moving Forward. Unity, Security, and the Future of American Politics. The attempted assassination of Donald Trump left an indelible mark on American society, shaking the very foundations of our political landscape. This tragic event forced a national reckoning with issues of security, political discourse, and the very essence of democracy. It brought to light the vulnerabilities within our system and the urgent need for reform. As the nation moved forward, the focus shifted towards healing, unity, and the implementation of concrete measures to prevent future